Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to make red bell pepper paste. In Portuguese, it's massa de pimentão vermelho. It took me two and a half months. It's a long time, but the result comes out perfect. I am making this paste as traditional as possible. In this way, the color turns out so beautiful and you can preserve it for a long time. This sauce is mainly used for pork to grill or to make stews and also to marinate birds and other meats. With this paste, you can cook many many traditional Portuguese dishes. You just need red bell peppers, a lot of salt, a box and a heavy object to put on top of the box. Let's go back in time and find out how I started. Two and a half months ago. Today I got a lot of red bell peppers. I didn't buy them, they were given. <laughs> it has 2 kilos, so I'm planning to make the masa de pimentão. Some of them look slightly green, that's not a problem at all, but don't use more green than this. I'm going to wash them all with cold water and put on the paper towel to dry the excess water. Let's dry top part with paper towel. Next, let's cut and clean them. Remove the stems like this. This is a trick to not to waste. Open one side and take the seeds and soft part off. See this part? And keep aside on a plate with kitchen towel or paper towel. Another one. This near the stem is very soft so take it off. Cut and remove the seeds and soft part. Only keep the good part and keep it aside. I'm going to do it like this for the rest. Look all clean. Next I have a little dip box, 2 kilos salt and peppers ready to ferment. Now I'll put the peppers and salt on layer into the box. In the base of the box I put salt, then pepper, then salt like this, then pepper again. I will do it like this for the rest. At the end, cover all papers with salt. Close the lid and keep it in the dry place in room temperature. I'm keeping in my storeroom. Put on top some heavy object. I'm using my motor for now. You can use any heavy thing and let it ferment two and a half months. After two and a half months, I'm so excited to unveil. By the way, I changed motor to a toolbox because I needed motor to use during this time. <laughs> Remove the box. Let's bring it to the kitchen and open it. See, it reduced so much and the paper released all the juice. So the paper becomes thin and left just meaty part. You will see when I remove them to wash next. Here I am using a strainer and a bowl to put afterwards and kitchen fork to take papers out. Take them out, see what I was talking about? Let's wash them very well one by one. Now I finished washing them, I will keep the papers aside. Next let's dry them. I am using my flat large strainer and rack from the oven. I will put it on like this and place all bell papers on. We only need the water to drop and slightly dry them. But we still want the moist from the papers to keep the consistency of the paste soft. Let it be like this about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, see they are slightly dry and no water left. Tap on it with the paper towel to remove the excess water if there is and transfer them into a bowl. Next, let's bring to blend it. I'm using my normal blender. 
I will put half of the paper into it and blend from lower to high speed. Now it reduced so I am going to put in rest and blend very well until it becomes fine paste. Check it out in the middle if it stucks then push the papers down. Cover on and blend. If your blender is small you can blend it in two batches or all one go if you have large one. So now it is done. Time to reveal. Look at this, looks so beautiful, red rich color and consistency is perfect. Keep into an airtight jar, put it in, looks so good. The rest I will put into a small jar. Now trick time, use piece of cloth and cut it in a size of the jar top and soak it into oil that you prefer. Then cover it like this. Like this it stays away from the mold. If you see any mold again after some time do it like this again. Then you can use it for up to a year without mold on it. Do you like the trick? Important part, remember it was fermented in the salt so it is quite salty. You better not use salt after you use this paste in your food unless if you really need it after tasting at the end of the cooking. So today we make Portuguese bell pepper paste, masa de pimentão. I hope you learned something new. If you do so, please like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon to get the notifications of my coming delicious recipes. Thank you so much for coming along with me and thank you so much again for watching. Bye bye.